Okay, the fourth item, letter D, that City Council President and Vice President be selected on a rotation basis by district. Councilman Myers. Well, I think that this is the most fair way to do it. However, obviously, it's a little more awkward if you have seven council members, but it's still fair. However, I don't know if I can put my colleague, uh, Councilman Johnson, on the spot, but if his <laughs> next item <laughs> gets supported and say we had five council members, would we, would he envision us rotating the council presidency as the uh, Board of County Commissioners does? Or I was just curious. Councilman Johnson. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And Ms. Myers, yeah, I, I have really no strong feelings about that. I have had no one, you know, demand that. I know that I've heard your comments here publicly about it become so political, but um, I, I really don't have strong feelings about that. I do have strong feelings about reducing the size of council from seven to five, but I'm open to that. Okay. I'm, I'm totally open to that. Um, I, I just really don't have strong feelings about that. Um, thank you. I don't think it's probably appropriate for a charter amendment. It's something that really I probably should have just uh, left off and because it's better handled, you know, by the, you know, the city council. But I was just bringing things forward that other people had asked me to, to bring forward, and that's one of them. I think this has to be a charter amendment, though. Yeah, that, that's what I was – oh, okay. I'm sorry. Then go ahead, Councilman Jones. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yeah, You're if right. you go to uh, page 8, and, and maybe I hope I have the same one, everybody else that talks about it has to be uh, right. okay. elected by the council, so it does have to be a charter amendment okay. per well, the we'll, charter that we operate under okay. today. Well, we'll leave it as a charter amendment then. Okay. Councilman Jahar. Yeah, and I guess my question is, is this, this would be a, I guess, a requirement for every – Council member to do it, they couldn't say, "Nah, I don't want to." And, and I think you can pass. I mean, can you we, pass? I, mean, I, I, I think the county commissioners can they say, "No, I don't want to do it." And then you know, because I'm assuming there are some people who may not want to be president. I mean, yeah. it's not an easy <laughs> job. <laughs> so, I mean, um, I just wonder if that's a condition or if that's it, was that your thinking, Ms. Myers? Or well, no, my thinking was just to make it, it fair and predictable, mm -hmm. predictable and fair, and take the lobbying and politics out of it um, and uh, so uh, I guess you could put language in there that would allow somebody to reject it you know but I'm just I'm just wondering I, I do think especially since they all get the same pay <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I did not recognize you, Councilman Wynne. <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Wu. Uh, is it right to talk on a different topic, or should we wait till this is over? Uh, is it another item on here? or? Uh, well, uh, what I was going to do is ask the Council if they would uh, agree with me. Um, in the Charter, it has us doing a change of guard Thanksgiving week. Right. And those of us that have grandchildren or out-of-town visits or would like to go somewhere, it, it really makes it awfully difficult uh, to do that. And I realize something like this would probably have to go to a ballot, but in my mind, I don't know if it would make a great earth-shaking difference if we had moved it one week later. Right. Uh, uh, you know, I know they had good intentions when they did it, but council members are trying to get Thanksgiving dinner, those that cook. And some of us like to get away and see family and whatever. And with that being on a Tuesday and Thanksgiving two days later, it makes it awfully difficult. So I just want to throw that out there. Well, I think technically if you adopted Councilman Meyer's uh, movement to make it a rotation basis, you wouldn't have to have that meeting electing. You know, you just, you know, that person would take over, you know, so you wouldn't have to have a meeting for it. Unless you're sworn in, maybe. But. Oh, you have to have the swearing yeah, in, though. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then the other thing, talking about the rotation, the problem is, for example, who do you rotate? Say we put that in. 
Councilman Spencer would make an excellent president, uh, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Wingate, and Councilman Myers. So the next one goes around, you rotate. How in the world would I know which one of these it should rotate to? Right. Because they would all be excellent choices. I think she'd go by a district. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So some people wouldn't get to serve, probably. I mean, well, unless they, if they didn't get reelected, you know, or their seat got done away you mean with. You go so. again? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other comments on this one on the uh, rotation by district? Any comments from the public? It's not a controversial one. 